Station 20 since we got two votes there. If you want to see more Kaiju Steve Nader, you know what you know what to do. We got Min Min and Veo. Um I just saw Bayon on a combo. Alright, this might have been what Fawn was playing before in uh, game one of the oh. previous set. Yeah, the Bayonetta, okay, so going for the double up tilt. Trying to look for an air dodge. No air dodge to be found, and wow, great timing on that slide kick on the ledge there. Uh-oh. Yeah, unfortunately, just extending just a little bit too far. Fawn found herself at the ledge against Min Min once again. He's going to power up the Dragon Arm. Got to watch it. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah, just not being the Bayonetta combo. Oh, and not, not close enough to get that down tilt for a good starter either. I know this matchup can be pretty good for Bayonetta since she does have Afterburner Kick to try and just get over Min Min. And she covers her blind, blind spot just very, very well. Yep, just jumping right over the grab, committed to the bit, and now look what happened. Look what Gone. happened. Shout out to Kaiju taking game two as well. That's moving on into game three. That's my carpool. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, it'll be smart with a snipe. Yeah, it'll be keeping things mad even against Fong here too. Yeah. On trying to meet you with that AB or with that uh, slide kick, but unfortunately not finding anything. All right, landed on the platform, so no continuation of that starter from the up tilt. A Wii Spark just really needs to lock it down here with the min min, just get that extra credit, even if uh, Fawn makes it back to ledge here. All right, neutral air resetting at the ledge. Fawn has to find a way out. We're really starting Ooh. to see Obese Fart uh, start to adapt to these blind spots that you were talking about previously. Mm -hmm. oh, the Megawatt coming out. They're looking for a kill. There we go. Jumping right on in. Air dodging. Vaughn just looking for the setup to just get a good starter going, but it's looking dire. It's looking tough right now. Dang. Yep. Yep, got a little bit too comfy trying to approach from the from the air, and Obese Fart responding in kind with the up smash. Yeah, that was game great one. awareness there, too. Just, like, sitting on the platform, realizing, like, Fawn's like, oh, Fawn's on the platform? Mm -hmm. She's going to, like, slide off? All right. Draw it up smash. Let's see. Ooh, we got Dumpling King on Station 22. Yo, Dumpling King? Yo, y'all want to y'all wanna throw some Dev Stars that way? 
All right, so Fawn taking us back with the uh, the Duck Hunt, actually, as the counter pick. Obviously, I think probably Fawn's best character, but I think if there is a character who can zone break that sort of uh, those lanes that Fawn can set up, it's probably Min Min. Oh my god. Yeah, and it seems like Fawn's doing a great job already with the Duck Hunt pick. And it's just like the confidence in the combos, you know, the control that can when Obese is in disadvantage here too. And I also think that you might like this pick because like you could stay like very close to Minmin. Yeah. Just stay constantly just like on top of her, not letting her throw like any type of ram ram, no arms, no nothing. Yeah, I think what we're seeing here is we're not really seeing fun play Duck Hunt as that sort of set play zoner, but just getting an obese farts face and using that raw advantage that she's able to set up with the can. Oh, we are rushed out of here, apparently. I mean, this is this is Smash Brothers Ultimate, where they decided uh, set play zoners need scrapping tools. <laughs> set play zoners needs, need really good buttons, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it was a funny choice, and I kind of I kind of mess with the choice. It's funny. Makes for a very uh, interesting meta. Oh my god, speaking of, speaking of zoners with good buttons, Three, two, one, go! 